Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. Can I get fit over 40 or 50? Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Perry Tinsley here, creator of the Power Blast podcast, owner of PutYourselfFirst.com, and I'm a health and fitness coach that's helped thousands of people just get results or at least get motivated or get off the couch anyway. Um, so glad to have you on another podcast and uh, to have you tuning in. You know, can I, can I get fit over 40 or 50 is a big question. And well, of course, is the big, is the big answer. Uh, if you put your mind to it and wanted, you want to make changes and actually start and keep going. Um, I like to think I like to think that when a person has made that decision, they tend to be driven, unstoppable, and they tend to set aside the excuses. Uh, because I, I've got a lot of friends out there who are over 40, and they're entering fitness competitions. And some are running marathons. Some people are going into triathlons. Some people are getting into those warrior you know, competitions. So there's a lot of a lot of varieties. You, you'll see that. And it's not like they were already years and years and years of working out. It's just, you know, sometimes people get to a tipping point and want to make a change. Or they always aspired to do these things. Life kind of got in the way. And I, I, I think sometimes we reach a tipping point and life, it, life gets busy. You know, life is you know, gets those little chaotic moments or chaotic years or whatever it is. And I don't want to say it gets away from us. It's just our priorities shift. And sometimes the health and fitness stuff just kind of sneaks away or just kind of we just drift away from it, whatever. And for, you know, at least for, for where I was and a lot of people I coach, you, we, we got into our late 40s or late 30s, I should say, and then said, you know what? I'm going to do something about it and, and, and stick to a plan and stick and, and commit to it. So um, whatever the goal is for you, uh, I, I think the big overarching goal for, for all of us should be to lead a healthy, fulfilling life. And, you know, uh, it's just got to, you just got to start out wanting to do something. Maybe it's wanting to lose that gut or wanting to lose that muffin top or to gain killer legs or to to attain a, a six pack. And it, you know, for it's different for everybody. A lot of times we'll see those infomercials of what are gadgets, gizmos, workouts, you name it. And you know, sometimes we go, you know, I want that. It does take work. You know, these are one of those things that you, you can't do. I know way back when I was actually contemplating an easy fix. I'm like, I wonder if this liposuction thing would work. And then I'm researching it and I'm finding the costs and all this stuff. And I'm I'm researching a lot of of surgery options when right in front of me, all it was was just put in the work, exercise and eat right. That's going to serve you well. It doesn't sound like rocket science, but... You, you, you just got to do the work and you've got to make the time and the priority. So um, can people get fit over 40 or 50? You can. It, doing a combination of things. And, you know, it, it, here's just some thoughts from my own experience, from people that I have coached and from trainers who have mentored me over the years. Um, it's, it's a combination of things. You know, I know a lot of times we, we like to think back to those high school days, that mindset of way back when. But, you know, as our bodies are changing, um, some, of the, some of the things, strength training, that's one. Yep, weights or machines or uh, resistance bands or even, even body weight ex- exercises um, can, can uh, really help you out. There's a lot of options out there. So you can you can check those out. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna go through a, a list of every option here, but that's one thing. Strength training. Another one is flexibility. Yoga will be your friend. <laughs> you might be thinking the same thing that I did initially. Um, I couldn't even do five minutes of yoga. I was skipping through it with my workout program. I'm like five minutes of yoga? Are you kidding me? You know. And there's some people that go out and do hours of it. But you know what? I found that. Um, it ends up being the glue of all your other workout programs. Yoga, once you once you get into it, 
can really make all your other workouts better, can make you feel better. Uh, it can also help with your mindset if you really get into it. Um, so there, there's another one with flexibility. Next thing, core stability and balance types of workouts. This could be like planks, um, some ab workouts, using a stability ball. Maybe it's Pilates. Even yoga uh, has a lot of balance stuff in there. Um, and that's just gonna just gonna help you out, uh, especially in the in the uh, in our upper years. But uh, one of the other things uh, with the core stability balance thing, it, it can be something like holding like a weight in one hand to counter you know counteract and make force you to be a little bit stable. You know, think of uh, when you're lifting groceries uh, out of the car and maybe one arm has all the groceries. You've really got to tighten up that core, and so working on that balance. Um, it, and stability is really going to help you out. Another thing, uh, I, I know there's a lot of philosophies out there and stuff like that that have to do with you know really long cardio sessions. But you know what? If you do HIT training, it's H I I T, which stands for high intensity interval training. Those workouts they can be super short, which is great for you people that wanting wanting to save time, but they're really effective at getting the heart rate up there. You you like go and you blast out like some really intense uh, cardio session as fast as you can for a short period of time and then you take a short rest and then you get back into it. So it's really, really kind of a kind of a cool thing. We've done some programs and some workouts like that in the past. And if you're a fan of the Power Blast podcast, you've probably seen those. Uh, another thing for you walkers out there, getting your ten thousand steps. I mean, a lot of a lot of you have those gadgets on your wrist, and you're keeping track or the pedometers, and that's going to help you out as well uh, in in the uh, in our uh, seasoned years, if you want to say it. Uh, I think also. Having stretch and recovery days are really beneficial, especially when we're getting over 40, 50, 60, wherever. Um, I think that is really great. Using foam rolling is another one just to keep keep the kinks out, keep the, the muscles limber, and uh, just to give longevity to your bones and your muscles and your ligaments and everything else. So uh, when it comes to nutrition, because nutrition is – usually the biggest part of it, you know, whatever school of thought you have out there or whatever types of eating plans you've seen or whatever you subscribe to, um, there's enough out there that'll probably make your head spin. Um, basically, it boils down to avoiding those highly processed foods that you're going to find mostly in the middle aisles of the grocery store. So if you shop the perimeter, around the store, you're going to find more of your whole foods, organic foods that they rock. Uh, and just consuming nutrient dense foods is going to be great for your body. And, uh, if it, Tony Horton, you, you guys know, I'm big, uh, big fan of his, I've done a lot of his workouts. He was actually my special guest on episode 500 of the power blast podcast. So you can go and check that one out. But he says, you know what? Eliminate sugar, processed food, gluten, Caffeine, alcohol, and dairy consumption is going to lean you out and make you feel great. Eh, I do some, most of those uh, myself. I, I can't say I've, uh, I've eliminated every one of those, but, you know, if Tony says so, look at the guy in his, in his late 50s and absolutely ripped. So what can you do? Can you get fit over 40 or 50? Well... I say you can do it at any age, right? It's just for many people, unfortunately, we have to get to that tipping point or that ultimatum before we end up starting, unfortunately. And that's what happened to me. You know, I just got sick and tired. And like I told you before, I was doing this research on on uh, possible quick fix fixes. But even quick fixes doesn't give you a lifelong plan. Whatever you do, get started and don't stop. Make it for life. I know some people they get on an eating plan because they're going on a vacation or they're going on a uh, going to a reunion and then they stop after. You know what? Don't do it. Don't stop at all. Just make it for life. Make you the priority and follow a plan. Don't just guess your way around hoping that things are going to work. Find it. Find a plan that can work for you, and then stick to that plan and trust the process. I'll post a few recommended programs in the show notes that uh, 
really target the various areas that I've uh, that I've talked about uh, in the show, and any, anywhere from beginner to advanced, depending on where you're at. And so, and here's another thing: if uh, if you're looking to just be a little bit more consistent with your workout, you can download my free ebook that will help you with that and your workout consistency and just getting your day started right. It's called My Fit Start. You can get that right at my. Fitstart.com. That's myfitstart.com. Or you can even take it up a notch and take my mini course, and that's called Put Yourself First. Pretty clever, eh? Uh, you can get that at course.putyourselffirst.com. That's course.putyourselffirst.com. That's where you can uh, access all the training there. Hey, that's all I have for this week. I so appreciate you for subscribing and, and sharing this show, and please, Head over to the iTunes store and search for Power Blast Podcast. Give it a rating and a review so we can reach more people. You absolutely rock. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week.